Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you today? I hope you are all doing well. Happy Easter by the way. I hope that you all had a wonderful and a meaningful Lenten holiday and Easter celebration. For today's video, I have here my Philodendron Brazil. Recently, I noticed that she is looking sick and unhealthy. I thought just maybe because of the winter, but nowadays, the temperature is already normal. It's a little hot already, but still, she seems a little sad. So I checked her leaves properly and I noticed something is there, like a tiny yellow dot on the leaves. And after checking closely, I found out that there are thrips all over the leaves. Actually, there's a lot of them. So what are these thrips and how they can damage our plants? Thrips are common house plant pests that fed on the leaves of the plants by sucking the plant juice. They are very small that you can't even see them unless you look closely to the leaves of your plants. They are having wings but I don't know if they can fly as I don't see them flying but I can see them moving around. If not detected at an early stage of the infestation, it can cause a lot of damage to the leaves and your plants might die. Leaves that are infected with thrips have usually white spots on it because they suck the plant cells. So it's very important to check your plants from time to time, especially if there's something unusual like yellowing of the leaves and looking droopy. So how to get rid of these unwanted pests that can damage our plants? You can use some mild insecticides or you can cut the parts which are heavily infected. So for today, I'll be using neem oil for the treatment. You can make the solution by adding 10 ml of neem oil to 1 liter of water and add a drop of detergent soap. This will help in mixing the oil in the water. So let's start the treatment by spraying the neem oil into the affected area. Spray generously on the leaves and to the undersides as well. I'll be spraying all the leaves to make sure that all the pests will be washed out. There you go. We are all done. And after spraying with neem oil, keep your plant in a shaded area for the whole day. This is very important. So please take note to keep your plants in the shaded area after spraying neem oil because exposing them to the sun will cause sand barn in the leaves. And make sure to isolate the affected plant from the other plants so the infestation won't uh, spread and the other plants won't get affected. You can do this every day if the infestation is severe until all the pests has gone. This is all for today guys and I hope that this video helps especially to those who are currently suffering from thrips infestation. 
Thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't and give a thumbs up if you like this video. Feel free to comment down in the comment section down below. Keep safe everyone and happy Easter once again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!